Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. I carried a story on Monday of this week. In that story, I was unable to give you a full report as to what exactly took place because I did not have all the details, but now I do. I have also obtained additional video footage of that incident. I'm going to start off with a split screen of what took place. So the incident took place Sunday night, April 30, about 7.30. It took place at the Gamers Paradise Bar and Lounge at Littitz District in the Indian Police area in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Three hoodlums entered the bar. They were armed with guns. But before they entered the bar, they fired shots announcing their arrival. Watch this. The woodlums, they proceeded to rob the 22-year-old bartender of cash amounting to over 260 thousand Jamaican dollars as well as a quantity of liquor and her cellular phone. Now, a team of police officers from the St. Elizabeth Division, they were on patrol in the area and they would have heard the gunshots fired. As a result, the police officers responded. On arrival, the hoodlums, they fired shots at the police. Watch this. <laughs> Remember now, these police officers, they were only responding based on the shots they would have heard fired. They had no idea that the bar was being robbed. The police, they returned the fire and the hoodlums, they ran off in different directions. The hoodlums, they managed to make good their escape, but in a done yet. We are told that a search of the area was carried out and bingo. If you look on your screen, the police, they found that Hayward Streams 9mm pistol affixed with a magazine containing three rounds of 9mm cartridges. The police, they continued searching and they found one carton box containing over 200,000 Jamaican dollars and a quantity of liquor. They continued searching and they were able to pick up one of the hoodlums who was allegedly involved in the robbery he has not yet been charged so i'm not gonna give you his full name but he's called andre he is 26 years old and he's from clifton all the way in portmore in the parish of saint catherine we are told that andre he was picked up along the Gazeland main road in saint elizabeth apparently his cronies drove away left him due to the intervention of the police now <laughs> I would like to big up the St. Elizabeth police on this one. 
St. Elizabeth Police, you did very well. You heard shots being fired and you put your lives at risk and responded. You recovered some of the money, the liquor and an illegal gun. You also held one of the hoodlums. St. Elizabeth Police, once again, job well done. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, 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 the land of the sun. Jamaica become now the 